Okay, so last week we discussed the Isturim related to going into a city of Avodah being involved in things that look like Avodah Zarah, right, drinking from the, the pestle in front of the Avodah Zarah, or the Avodah Zarah itself, or whatever you want. Um, but if you remember, th- until we got to the Rambam, what was the common denominator between all of the positions? Right? Everyone, right, we saw the position of the Nagid, the Rabbin Yonah. What does Rabbin Yonah think? What is the nature of the Isra being discussed there? It's specifically going into the non-Jewish city at the time of the market. Right? It's because you're participating in the party. We saw all the shito that related it to Maris Ayin, right? That it looks like you're going to worship. Um, but then we saw the Rambam, the Beirish Mishnayos, who said, no, why can't you go into the ear shell of Avodah Zechavim? It has nothing to do with the fact that it's a city of Avodah Zechavim. It has nothing to do with the fact that there's... Sorry. And therefore people will think you're doing Avodah Zarah. It has nothing to do with the fact that there's a Yerid and that you might be participating in the party. What does it have to do with? What did the Rambam say? What did the Rambam say? <laughs> what did the Rambam say? We read the Rambam, Beirish Mishnayos. What did he say? Why is it us to go into the city of Ode Kochavim? Because it's us to go into a city of Ode Kochavim. Right, that's why, right? There's no chashad, there's not going to lead to this. It is us. He says, Kimat, it's us to look at it. Kavachomer to go into it. He said, forget going into the church or the, or the temple or whatever. It's us to go into the city. Why, why is that the reason why it's us? Oh. So what did the Ram not tell you? The Ram didn't tell you what? Ram doesn't tell you where this Israel comes from. Right? That's like, it, like, so yeah. where did Israel come from? So that was why I gave you Dafta Zion of Aesti and Zion of Aleph. Because here the Gemara well, the talks. Says it's Aser because you're not allowed to do it. He doesn't explain why. He just says it's Aser. Now. The Gemara on Tezayin Amad Beis tells a story that Rehul Azar was once caught, he was arrested for heresy, and they were going to kill him. And when he got up there to be killed, the executioner said, Rabbi, old man, what are you getting involved in stupidity that you got caught in this? He said, Neman Alai Adayon, I trust the judge. Now the executioner thought, oh, it's so nice, even at the brink of death, he trusts my judgment. Even though what he meant was, I trust HaKadosh Baruch that he has something in mind. So the guy lets him go, says, oh, you had so much faith in me, go ahead, you're free. His Talmidim come in to comfort him. Why are they coming to comfort him, Shimon? Because he was scared. Because it was traumatic, right? He was arrested, he was brought up to be hung or whatever, or had his head chopped off. Last second, he gets saved, right? It's a bit traumatic. And Rebekiva says to him, you know, look, I might know why this happened to you. Oh, right? Amar Right? So Amar Rebekiva, this is the last line to Zayim Advez, Shema Minos Baliyadcha. Right, he says, maybe, right, he said, maybe, right, you interacted with heresy and you benefited from it, you were okay with it, so God punished you. So, Amr Lo Akiva, he says, you're right. His kartani pamachas, he's a mahalak, but shoka elion shall see pori matzi echad. The Yagavi Parshanya Shmo. I was walking once and I found this guy named Yaakov Ishkvar Sachanya. And Amrali, and it was this heretic, but Amrali calls it the Taraska, Mosavi Esnanzona. Mao Lazar's a menu based Knesses. We go in Gadol, he said, right, you can't bring the money used for for um, for prostitution to the base of Mikdash, can you use it to build a shul for a coin gadol? Lo marti lo klum, I said, I don't know, I didn't say anything, Amar li, kach li mantani ki bes non zona, kav tzav, ad es non zona, yashuvu, maka matanobos, balu maka nobos, um, yeleichu, and they said, it comes from a dirty place, it's going to a dirty place, right, doesn't make it, so it shouldn't be doing that, fine, manani adavar al yudeze, right, and I, I appreciate what this mean had told me. Nidpasi le minos vavarti al mashe kasu betorah. So, without going into the details of that story, and he says, why was it usher to benefit from what a heretic told me? Because I violated what it says in the Torah, not really the Torah, but in Mishle, harcheik mealecha derachecha bal takre bal pesach v'isar. Right, that's the pasuk of Mishle. Distance yourself from its path. And don't come to the to its door, the door of its house. And the Gemara Darshans, Harcheik me alea darachecha, darachecha. Right, distance or safe from its path. Zu minus. This is minus. What is minus? Normally it's heresy. What does it mean in this context? Probably. So what did 
Yohonas. I gave you Rabbeinu Yohonas. Son of Rabbeinu Yohonas, and say. Okay. So we'll read through it. So look at Rabbeinu Yohonas and turn to the back. Turn to the riff. Right now, in Avodah Zarah, the commentary on the riff. There's, there is the Ran. Oh, wait, is that where it is? Oh, or did I have it? No, no, it's not here. Okay, I'll just tell you what he says. Rabbi Yonasan says, Minos zu Amide Yeshu Hanotri. It is Christianity. Christianity. Right? Okay, fine. Um, and I'll take Ravel Pesach. Right? Don't come near it. Don't come to the door that is the government. The Ikadam, I mean, other people say, Some say it means both the government and um, the and heresy. The Altigra of Pesach Beisa Zuzona. And don't come, no, keep away from the government because they killed people and steal people. We're talking about not like fair governments, we're talking about the governments they had. Is it, and what does it mean, keep away from their pe- Don't come to the door, Zuzona. Right? Don't come near a prostitute. The Kama, how far should you stay away? Amr of Chizda Arba Amos. Stay away for Amos. Okay? Then the Gemara tells you a story. At the bottom two lines, skip down to the bottom two lines of Yudzayin and Aleph. Rabbi Chanina, Rabbi Yonasan, Rabbi Kaazli, but Urucha. Rabbi Chanina and Yonasan were walking on the path. Matu lahani treshvile, and they came to a fork in the road, and there were two paths they could take. Chad pasze apes chad avodas kochavim. One passed by a temple, an idolatrous temple. Bichad Patsi Apisko de Bezonos, and the other one went by a brothel. Right, a house of prostitution. So Amr Lechad Lechavre, so one said to his friend, Nezel Apisko de Avotis Kochavim, let's go by the idolatrous tre- temple, the Nachis Yitzre, because the Gemara tells us elsewhere that, that whatever this means, Chazal killed the Yitzhara of Vodazara. So he said, look, if we go by the brothel, we might get attracted, we might get right enticed by it, we might go in. But if we go by the idolatrous temple, since the Yitzhahara is dead, for Avodah Zarah, presumably we won't get caught up in it. Amr le idach, the other person said to him, said, no, nezel apischa de vezonos, let's go right in front of the brothel instead. Unechaf ye liyitzran nekabel agra. And then we will conquer our Yetzir Hara and we'll be rewarded for conquering our Yetzir Hara. Right? So it's clear this is not an ideal situation either way. But which is worse? Going by the Abu Zara place or by the brothel? Right? So it's Machokas between these two people. So what do they do? So what do they do? Neither of them. Right? They're not going in. They're going next to. They're not going inside. One is not active and one is. They're both active. You just said... The Yetzir Hara is dead. Right? So the Gemara says, Kimatu Hasa. The Yitzhahara is dead. That means it's not active, right? What do you mean it's not active? The Yitzhahara is active. They're saying we're not going to be attracted by it. Because the Yitzhahara has been killed. The, the Yitzhahara has been killed. Right? There's the Yitzhahara. Right? That Chazal killed the Yitzhahara. So we aren't, we aren't attracted to it. So it'll be safe. So yeah. So we aren't. There is nothing that allure. But There's yeah, no allure, right? There's no the allure. idea that there's still... Lust. Oh, or is that is yeah, that correct? Lust. But they they decide the second guy wins the day and they go in front of the brothel instead. Kimatu hasam chazinu lezonu is kanayu mikamayu. And they uh, right when when they pass by the zono went out of sight. So Amr um, leminalacha. So he says, right? How did you know this? Right? How did you know that we'd be able to conquer the Eitzar? And then he explains to him he knew he would conquer, conquer the Eitzar. So what does that tell you? What does this Gemara tell you? That what was what it seems to be the Gemara's maskana? That it can't you can't go in front of the temple even if what? Even if there won't be a temptation. Right, meaning it's better to go in a place where there's an active temptation than to go in front of why a base of a desaro. Uh, why? Good. That's the question I want to figure out. Right. So remember. I asked you last week, I said, where does the Ramam get the notion that the reason that you can't go into an ear Shalavotas Kochavim is that it's intrinsically problematic, this not because of Maris Ayin. What? This, this Gemara, the Gemara tells you that it's a Pasuk and Mishlei. Right? Stay away from it. Right? Stay away. It has nothing to do with your title or anything. Right? right? It's not about, 
It's Mars Ayin. It's fundamentally also Harchek Melech Dar Kachos. Stay away from it. Good. Okay? Problem is, so this Gemara tells you that there is some sort of intrinsic problem going to a temple, even for Amos in front of a temple. What is the problem? If I asked you, is it Daraisa or Rabbanan? Daraisa. Why would you say Daraisa? Why? What's the problem with saying? No, tell me why you say Daraisa and tell me the problem with it being Daraisa. What's the general rule? If something's Daraisa, what do you need to give me? Proof. What? What? Mm-hmm. A pasuk. A pasuk. From where? The Torah. The Torah. From the Torah. Torah count meaning? Right. From what counts as Torah for these purposes? Tanakh. No. The first Torah. Chumash. Chumash. Oh. Where's this pasuk from? Archeg mil lechot archechot. It's from Mishlei. Suvim. Right. So if you just had this Gemara, so what would you say, Max? Daraisa or Darabanan? Darabanan. Darabanan. The support from. Good. Did it sound that way in the Rambam? It did not, right? The Rambam sounds like it is Daraisa. Good. Give me a counter way of reading this Gemara. Read this Gemara and tell me how would you read this Gemara and say it's Daraisa? The positive quote is only Darabanan. It's only from Ksuvim. Good. Tell me how this might be Daraisa. Tell me. Come on, guys. I want you to read. What for what purpose does the Gemara quote the Pasuk of Mishlei? Oh, it's bringing up the part about the Zona. No, it's also telling you Minos. It's both. But what specifically, what is it teaching you? What is the Pasuk of Mishlei? Harcheik me'alecha, me'alecha, darkecha. What is it? What does Harcheik mean? Distance. Why is that Pasuk being brought in? To teach you what? They can't go within... Four they can't go within Arba Amos. Uh, but what is it not being brought to teach you? That you can't? Uh, well, that you can't? Go in! Uh, right? I mean, Gamara, what is... Right, let's be careful. If you can't even go ah, through, so there's two ways of reading this. Right? One is to say the whole Isser is only Derabanan. Harchek melecha darkecha. Right? Stay away from it. That's or one way of reading it. What's the other way of reading it? Or the Darabon has to be yes, sir. Correct. Or it's to say, no, the Gemara is bringing a Pasuk from Mishlei to tell you that not only shouldn't you go into the temple, you but you shouldn't go even go far, far almost from the temple. But it doesn't even need to tell you that it's also to go into a base of a Dazara. Because why is it also to go, also to go into a base of a Dazara? Because it's also to go to a base of a Dazara. Why? Because there's an Israel Hana from a Dazara. You aren't allowed to benefit from a Dazara. Right? I mean, there's a hundred reasons I could give you as to why you can't go into a base Avodazara. Right? Okay. Fine. Here. So now, what I want to do is go through some sources and I want to, I want to, um, to analyze this a bit, okay? Um, let's, let's, we don't necessarily do this in order. Look, go to number three. Okay, go look at the Chachmaz Adam. Who's the Chachm- Chachmaz Adam? Same person as the Chayi Adam. Okay, you can use your phones. Look it up. Tell me who the Chayi Adam is. Oh, you didn't... So from. Good, Nachum. Look it up. Who's the Chayi Adam? By the end, you guys might remember some of these personalities. We're just waiting for the day. Shimon will come out with a safer. Then people will be asking, who wrote the... Picking up your safer. Born in 19... Whatever. Is a work on Jewish law by Rabbi Avram Danzig. Good. Avram Danzig. Dealing with the laws discussed in the Orach It's going to be called Shas Al Shas. Nice. Nice. Shas Al Shas. There you go. Yes, is Avram Danzig. He's a post again. He. Well, it says. That's a city? No, he's in. Oh, he's. Um, he writes a code that. Right, in the Shulchan. Not on the Shulchan Aruch, but right. a halachic code in Hanami. Um, we got Danny. Hmm. Seriously? 
Yeah. Where is he? Oh, no, it doesn't say. Oh, for God's sake. Anyways, he's, he's, a, he's a classic Lithuanian Posig. He's glad with Lithuanian Posig. Good. So Chochmah Zadim says in number three. Ashkenazi Polish rabbi. Yes, but he's from the... Anyways. Right. He's, he's classic. This is like classic Litvish halach, okay? He says, Habeis Tifla... Number three. Habeis Tifla Shal Akum. Shiesh Bo Eliel. It's an a idolatrous temple that has a god in it. Afal Pi She'ena Bay is Ne'evad. Even though the house is not worshipped. Mikol Makom Lo Gara Mitashmishan Vinoyan. He said, half of Avodah Zarah talks about you can't use Avodah Zarah, you can't use the things that serve Avodah Zarah, you can't use the decorations on Avodah Zarah. So he says, of course, it's Asr too. Go in. Go in. afilu impanu And therefore, even if you took the idol out of it, it's Asr to benefit from it. Elam can hotzi akum as alil, but there's bitl unless he took out the idol in a way that he nullified it, which is what Ray Ginsburg here is doing now. The high note shalah halchin is owed, meaning he's never going to bring up Nidal back into it. Ojam abal hotzia Yisrael lo mahani levatom vayizeh. The standard right? land yeshiva if, used to be in an old church. What? The standard land yeshiva used to be in an old church. No, it didn't. It used to be in a Catholic school. Right. I, I, my, one of my Tardis uh, um, school of Atlanta took over a Catholic Good. My um, what? um now he he notes. Now just skip to Tezayin one second. He says Kevin the base of a Zara Aser behanaa. And he says, if it's usher to benefit from a idolatrous trample, so you can't go into it. I feel even to sit in its shade of a lav or bitsila mutter. So how can you? But one second. But passing through its shade is permitted. But it's a mitzvah to avoid going near the door even for Amos. So it's clear. How does the Chayyim understand it? Right, the second way we said it. Right, he's saying the Gemara didn't have to tell you why it's usher to go into a base of a Dazara because, of course, it's usher to go into a base of a Dazara. We have a hundred Isurim that tell you that you can't benefit from a Dazara from the Tashmisha of Dazara, from things that are used to, to serve a Dazara, from the Noye of a Dazara, right, the decorations of a Dazara. Right, just because the Gemara quotes a Pazig and Mishlai doesn't mean that the whole Isser is Dera Banan. It just means that the Isser to stay far away. I mean, not even to come Arba Amos from the entrance is Dera Banan. Right? But not going into the idolatrous house, that's Avada Av- Av- Now, parenthetically, you remember the, if you went to Ray Broid's here, but this was part of his Machlok with Ray Alman. Ray Broid said, Oh, most Rishonim say that going into a church is only Dera Banan because of Maris Ayin. And Alman said, what are you talking about? This is da, da raisa. Right, where are you getting that from? Because according to, what did I Broy do? He looked at it and he said, look, the Gemara in Daf Yeralit is clearly Dirabana. The Gemara on Yud Zayin is Dirabana. Right, it's only an Asmachta. There's no explicit Pasuk that says you can't go into Beis Avadzara. But if you look at the Chachmaz Adam, Chachmaz Adam says, of course there is. It's so obvious to the Gemara that you can't go into a base of a Dazara because it falls in that gen- ca- general category of not benefiting from a That's why no one Right? The, what's their Abanan is not going within four Amos, not going into the city, not going on the path to it. Correct. He's saying the reason you don't find an explicit Basel because it was so obvious. The, the Gemara never needed to prove that going into the temple itself was Asr. The Gemara needed to prove you can't come near it, you can't bet, you know, all that stuff. Right? That's, ex- that's exactly what the Chachmah Zadam saying. But you see how those two ways, right? That was the Machlok, is right, Broid Right? I mean, not originating with him, but that's where you might have heard it. Yeah, Max, well, you had a question. I forgot. When you remember, tell me. Okay. Good. So now, here's what we have. Wait, oh yeah, I did. So, yeah, were they good. tempted into the... I, I walked away because I had something coming on my finger. Um, were they were they, uh, were they? they tempted into the into the brothel or no. they were succeeded? No, they succeeded. Okay. Baruch Hashem. That's okay. all I wanted to know. Baruch Okay. So now, what do you have? Right, according to the Rambam, and again, I think the... The Mechilas Kvod... Right, Broid. I think the Chachmaz Adam is a simple shot here, right? That going into a temple is a vada aser, right? Because it's obvious, right? It's obvious that it's aser. I mean, how could you tell me it's not aser? 
Right? That's the Chokhmah Zadim's argument. Is that the Gemara never needed to tell you that going into a temple is also? Of course it's also. Rabbi, would you agree in the case What's, where yeah. you said that if you want, you're allowed to go in the temple for if you shall not. That's not. Right, that depends. Right? That's. We've discussed that, right? Because is that Yahargal Yavor? Is it not Yahargal Yavor? Right? Okay, fine. Right? Yes, law do it. Right? But the fact that there's a. Now, I, I want to be clear. Not every temple is obviously a temple for these purposes, right? We have to. It depends on whether you think. For example, by a church, it depends on whether Christianity is of a Zara. It depends. Is it just a place where they worship? Right? Now, this is something that maybe we'll get into. But the post game deal, where there's two ways that something could be a base of a Zara. It could either be a base of a Zara because it houses an Avodah Zara, or it can be a base of a Zara because of the worship that happens in it. Right? So not every church, let's say, is going to have a statue, but it might be a place where they worship. I think simple pshat is that both of those, simple pshat, ladati. I'm not saying the arm post is going to disagree, but I think simple pshat is that, I don't know what that is, right? Simple pshat is that those are, right, intrinsically problematic. They're mikomos avodazara. There's an isr hanan avodazara, right, and the like, okay? Um, at the other extreme, now, if, if that's true, now explain to me the Rambam. What did the Rambam do? The Rambam and the Perish of Mishnayos, right? What did he do? Let's assume that the Chachmah Zadim is right. That everyone has to be moda. That, he, that a, a church, a temple, is a makam of a Zara, that it's Aser. And then Midar Abbanan, you can't even... Right? The way the Chachmah Zadim understands it is going to a church is Aser Midar Raisa. Staying away from it is Midar like Abbanan. Doing those things is... It would all fall under. What is the Ramam doing? Right? Remember, let's look back at the Ramam. Saying oh. everything having to do with the Isra of Hana, the Isra of all these things that aren't the Rabban and Bible Zara are now all the Raisa and you can't. Correct, them ever. right? So the Rambam doesn't accept the Chachma. The, the, the Rambam accepts part of the Chachma Zadam, right? The, what does the Chachma Zadam say? The Chachma Zadam says the base of Udazara itself is. Daraisa. But everything around it is only Durabanan. Right? For Amo, right, going for Amos, things like that. What did the Rambam do? The Rambam said no. That same Isra that applies to the church, to the temple, applies to the whole city. Right? Meaning that Isra, that there's an intrinsic problem, an Isra Hanav, of association of Hanav from an Avodazara. The Rambam says what's true of a temple is true of a city with a temple. Right? The whole thing, the guns of Misa, it's all also same level fundamentally. Right? Everybody else, what might they do? Right? They might they might be mode. Right? Again, this was right Broid versus Ray Amin. Right? Broid says, look, all the Rishonim and Yudalif say that the issue of going to the city is only Marazayan. It's because of the holidays, you look like you're part of the celebration. But what's this simple retort? That, that's not the case. Right. The temple itself, the church itself, isn't this Hanaz, isn't this Daraisa? Going into the city, going on the path to the city, all that stuff, that's Marazayan, that's the Rabbanon, right? But that doesn't tell you that going into the church itself, the temple itself is only the Rabbanon. That just tells you the ancillary things are the Rabbanon. Good. Give me a Balabatish middle case. Right? A Balabatish middle case. Let's assume. Don't think too hard. I'm telling you, right? Pachipshat. What could be a middle case that comes up all the time? Allah Lamaisa. You're walking. Like. Like. I, when I was working anywhere, what? Literally, yeah. Anywhere. No, so that no one else brings up the city thing, right? The Rambam makes this huge thing and says, "Oh, every house, every city, it's all the same big sir. No one else accepts that for the city, mm-hmm. right? Meaning, again, to clarify, right? All of the freshmen we saw besides the Rambam last week, they said what? They said, "What are you talking about? The city, city isn't a base of the Zara. A city can only be us or if it's also because of Mars Ayan. There's a festival, things like that." Give me another one. Just this is very simple. Shut up. What about a what about a chatzer? Right, this is the case of the Rama. A chatzer of what is Zara. Right, not the church, the parking lot. Right, the parking lot. You spit on a church. Right, like if you like. That's that was the old minhag in Europe. That was the old minhag. 
They actually go next to it to disrespect it. To though. spit, yeah. That was the minhag in Europe. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that was the minhag in Europe. Yeah, I know. Um, I have a friend who still does. My mother, my mother's grandma. My mother's I have a friend who still does this. My it's mother, really, my great really grandmother, is the do it. What? We just look the opposite. You no, know, my mom should have a friend who like the whole block before. I'm not gonna say this is, but a block before he gets there, he like he like collects spit in his mouth and then spits and screams. Shaket the shaket senu. Whatever. Is he crazy? What? Is he crazy? Interesting guy. Good idea, Tamil Khan. Big Tamil Khan. Okay. Rabbi, are we talking about I mean, he did this when we were like 19. I don't know if he still does it. Yeah. I hope not. Are we talking about would, old choices? Choices we should do. I mean. So remember, this depends on is it a Bodhisar or not, right? That was our discussion months ago. Okay, fine. But what about the parking lot? The hot air. What would be so, the, well, so if there's a problem with the city, then the, you can't. So Avada, it. according to the Rambam, no Shaila. The whole city is Asr. But, according but what to about the, according to everybody else? You still get in within four hours. So Yej Lodun, right? It's somewhere in between. Right. Right? Yeah, but what's the four hours? From the from the church itself or the temple itself from the Right? What about the courtyard? Is the courtyard right? Yeah, so using, this is. We're not using the courtyard for a house, place of worship. Right, so this is this is a Shaila. I gave you into number one. And the Dark Emoshe Hakatsar. Who's the Dark Emoshe? Moshe. Go Rama, Ramoshe Isserlis. So, again, a little bit of background here. One second, a little bit of background here. Both Rabbi Yosef Karo and Ramoshe Isserlis wrote commentaries on. The tour, the tour, yeah. tour. Yaakov Balaturim. Remember, then they both went on to write, right? Shulchan Aruch, right? Rabbi Yisroel wrote Shulchan Aruch, and the Ramah wrote his comments on Shulchan Aruch, right? The Ramah to record Ashkenazi Psak. So if you open up a tour, you will have Beis Yosef summarizing Sephardi Psak, and then the Ramah originally wrote an encyclopedia parallel to Beis Yosef, but once he found out Rabbi Yosef wrote one, he didn't publish it, but he published a shortened version which adds the Ashkenazi Minog to the Beis Yosef, okay? Yeah. Oh, I forgot what it's Okay, so number one, the Dark Emosha Kotzer, this is the Ramah. The Ramah says, V'nir elefize da'af lechotzer she'ish ba'avu dezara mutter le'elech over avarayana varash v'ir le'din osel chosem yirid b'yomei he says well if you accept Rabbeinu Yonah right so what was Rabbeinu Yonah Rabbeinu Yonah said it's only us to go into the idolatrous city when they're having their party right it looks like you're participating so according to that log- logic otherwise it would be mutter to go into the city and the Ramah says at first glance you would say that the courtyard is equivalent to the to the city, to the city, he says. Therefore, if there's not a celebration going on, Havalavachi Shari. So therefore, there's no celebrations permitted. Um, and he says, and even though the Rajba said you can't even go there, right, into the church, even if it's you know Yehargval Yavor and whatever. Says, and maybe that's only if there's no other right, no way of interpreting this. You're not going to the church, right? There's no other way of getting there. Said, I think it would be mutter because there's no different than um, it's no different than um, the city. So the first day in the Ramah is that the courtyard is... No different than the city. No different than the city. And therefore, if you don't accept the Rambam, right, who thinks that the intrinsic problem goes out in three concentric circles, so then the, right? So basically, the right, if you imagine this, let's imagine concentric circles, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes? In the middle is the base of a Dazara, which according to the, the way the Chach Masadam says it is obviously Asr. Asr Bahana, it's a Makam of Dazara, no Kshayla. The third concentric circle is the city. Mm-hmm. The Rambam thinks that the Isser of Avodah Zarah itself radiates all three. No. So, Bikaron, you shouldn't be allowed into a non-Jewish city, Bechlal. Right? An idolatrous city. Right. Everybody else says, no. The city, right, the third concentric circle is only Usser because of Maris Ayin, when there's a party, blah, blah, all that stuff we did last week. Mm-hmm. What about the second circle? Well, so, the Rambam's first day is that it's... Closer to the city, and therefore, whatever you would say about the city, say about the old this city. Yeah. good. So it's what, now, why is this an important shita? Because the chutzpah. Lamaisa, this comes up all the time, because this is the shita of the Ramah that is coded in what context? All the time. I mentioned to you before, voting booths, 
in the social hall of a church. Right? Because it's not just the chatzer. Right? We, by chatzer, what do we mean? By chatzer, we mean the property of a temple that's not the sanctuary itself. Yeah, but you, you said like... It, we, we can't... In, in nowadays, we can't think that he's going to go to a church and you just find that a bit peculiar. Okay, fine. Think that he's going to convert. Bid you. But again, but if you think going into the church itself is also... Mm-hmm. So... That's the sanctuary. But Pashtus is the social hall, has the status of the Chatzer. Now, if you hold like the Rambam, the whole year is Asr, right? You shouldn't be going in. If you hold according to the first day of the Dark Moshe, so what does he say? The non-sanctuary parts, the Chatzer, let's call them, has the status of the ear. And therefore the only problem is if it's Marzayan, and therefore it would be Mutter if there's a big sign that says voting today in the social hall of the church and everybody knows that you're not going the front entrance to the sanctuary, you're going into the back. So if you think that the achatzer is equivalent to to what? <coughs> to the city, right? Which let's say the problem is Maris Ayin or the problem is only when there's a party, a Yerid, a holiday party. So assuming there's no holiday party, so according to Rabbi it's Mutter. Right? According to the she does that as Marzayin. If there's a big sign that says today is voting day and we're the social hall of Saint whatever church, Peter's. what Saint whatever Saint mm-hmm. Peter uh, doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter, right? I don't care. I don't know why you can do voting in the Basilica, but whatever, you know. Okay, no, whatever. I don't know Saint Saint Anne's doesn't matter. Okay, but but wait, 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 wait. But what happens if you think that the huts there? Is not the equivalent of the of the third concentric circle, but it's the equivalent of the first base of Odizar itself. Then what would you say? Asur Mutter. Asur. Asur. So the Ramah brings a second day. He says, Omnam, the same for Hasidim, cause of the call Holech, the Rechshom, and Tvilazu Nishmas, or Shoshim Yom. Right? He says, But Sever Hasidim says what? It's Asr. It's Asr. And if you go to a church, you your Tfilah will not, God will not listen to you for 30 days. That is a bit more mystical. So he says, in the Sefer Hasidim, he's noted to say that what? It's not a Maris Ayn concern, it's a <laughs> fundamental concern. <laughs> he says that's not the Midag. The Midag is not to be so Machmir. Look at the Sefer Hasidim. I gave you the Sefer Hasidim number two. What is Sefer Hasidim, by the way? So it's written by the Hasid Ashkenaz. Much of it's written by Buda Hasid, though not all of it. Right, who are Hasid Ashkenaz? The German Pietists. They are contemporaries of the Bali Atosvot, but they are Pietists. Right, they are involved in. They are known for being involved in, in Pietistic rituals, meaning in 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 v- being very from in being involved in a little bit of mysticism, in being a lot involved very heavily in shuva. In what? False piety? Why false piety? Why is false piety? Saying like you said. Why false? On pious rituals. No, pious. Pious. Pietistic oh, rituals. Okay. Chuva, right? Heavy chuva, right? Accepting all types of chumras on themselves. So he says. Sefer Chasidim Ain Likanes Beveis Havot Dezara Shneemar Gabe Eli. Now he quotes a different pasuk, and he says Shneemar Gabe Eliezer. Right? If you guys do Shemek with Rashi, you should remember this. Right? What does Rashi say on Lavan? When Lavan says to Eliezer, "Come in," Banochi Paniti Abayit. I cleared out the house. What does Rashi say? <coughs> what does he say? I Good. What did you do Shemek with? Since it's an absolute chiyuv, I wasn't suggesting that I had done shemek. It's a chiyuv. Thank you. If you all told me to do it, uncle, that'd be fine. Did he kill him? Or no. So he says, "Anochi paniti abayit." He says he got rid of the idols and he took out the idols. So you can come in, which implies that if he didn't, he couldn't go in. He couldn't go in. Masha Yaakov is loving like nechaz b'alo. Shomei tefila v'gomer. Shomei tefilos in omer. Shomei tefilos zu tefila shamalach mazal shadam shumas balel ala adam shish makadosh baruch hu. What's your adam v'zeu? And he says, um, oh, it might be in a different version of it. Okay, whatever, right? But he says, right? You shouldn't go in at all in the Ramah, At least, yeah, has that your tefila won't be accepted. Okay, fine. Um, now, if you skip down to mm-hmm, one second, yeah. 
Look at. Let's give down to Shulchan Aruch. Okay? Shulchan Aruch number four to Siv Beis. Uh, no, let's you know. Let's read both. Let's see the Shulchan Aruch summary of what we've been reading so far. Ir Shaosim Ba Yerid Biyom Chagam, a city that makes a carnival, a party, a marketplace, whatever, on the day of the holidays. And people gather and go there for the honor of the Avodah Mutalah. So you can go around the city in the suburbs, but not in it. That's the position of who? Who does Shulchan Aruch Paskin like? That was Rabbeinu Yonah. Right, that it's about the carnival. If you're traveling, so you can't go on a path that only goes there. Okay. Then, Siv Beis, and this is the position of, right, we saw several Rishon who dealt with this. If the issue is only Maras Ayin, right, now again, the, the Shulchan is a bit inconsistent because in Sephala he goes to Ben Yonah and then he switches over to like Mar Zion issues but okay this is only a guest but if someone lives in the city it's Mutter and if you're in a caravan so everybody knows you're just traveling through so then what? Mutter then the Ramah says what about the Chatzar? some say that it's equivalent to the city Right? And therefore, if it's not an idolatrous party, right, or there's no Marazine, then it would be Mutter. And some say it's always Asr. However, the Ramah says he doesn't accept the Rambam esque Svara. Right, what does he do? He says, no, some people say. The Chatzar is really like the ear. It's just more machmer than the ear, right? Really, there's a third possibility. Meaning. Right? Meaning. If you're the Rambam, you think the Chatzar is Asr because the whole city is Asr yeah. intrinsically. The tour, according to Rajma, says, no, it's d- totally Mutter. Right? Just like the... Tr- right? Just like... This is a different place. It's a correct. But he said there's a middle way, which is to say, the type of concern we're worried about the Chatzar is Maris Ayin. But, practically... Right, give me a practical as far to say fundamentally it's like a city, it's Maris Ayan, L M I. But what? It's gonna be more often a Maris Ayan concern to go through the parking lot of a church than it is to go into the city of Abu Dazara. Okay. Right, I mean that's a practical concern. Right, you can say so, so therefore he says, some people say it's a bit more machmir. Meaning fundamentally it's not right? I mean there's really three possibilities. You could say it's just like the church and always us, sir. You could say it's just like the city and therefore it's only us when the city would be us, sir. Okay. Or you could say, look, at a fundamental level, it's like the city. It's not a Malkum of Zara. But practically, you have to be more Machmir because, right, it's very simple, right? If someone goes into Vatican City, right, people will say maybe he wants to go touring. But if he goes into the parking lot of the, you know, of the, the church, they'll be like, you know... Of, of church, church. No, I'm no, I'm no, not Vatican City. I don't know. Whatever. Fine. He says, "I will shederach over the makom achel going on mutter." He says, "Meikar adin had as he paskin, it's mutter." As long, or as long as you can solve the Mars Ayn concerns. But he says, But he says, If it's not too much of a hassle, he would tell you to be machmir. Why? Because the Savior Chasidim says that some sort of spiritual level should be machmir. Right? So what do you have? Something by the ear, you have to be okay. So, okay, yeah. so what do you see by the chutzpah? The Ramah thinks it's somewhere in between. He says, "Meikra din, we paskin that it's really like the city, and therefore, as long as you can solve the Marzayin concern, it's fine." But lechatchila, we're machmir that the chutzpah of Odizar has a shemitz, right? Has a, has a spiritual problem, right? It's closer to the inside circle, right? Why Mix. else would you be going to the courtyard? Go vote. I'm saying it happens all the time. A church, the voting booths in the church. Um, it's a shortcut, right? You cut through. You've never cut through a, 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 a courtyard and like a, a parking lot in your life. 
Yeah, but I have a question. Let me say you do a marathon and, and right. you have like a short the road road. In the marathon, you have to go through a church to go somewhere else. Uh, again, according to the Ram, in, to the church itself? Yeah, you have to go through the church itself. If you go to the sanctuary, it's us, sir. If you go to the sanctuary, it's us, sir. If it's not the sanctuary, so then it's this whole machlokas. The sanctuary is the uh, uh, the shul, right? Okay. Where they actually do services, right? Well, there's sacrament takes place. Okay. Now, if I asked you, La do we accept the Rambam? What would you say from what you've seen? No. No. Right? Everybody takes as a given the Rambam is wrong. Right? Meaning, nobody thinks the city is intrinsically us. Or everyone thinks it's either the church, maybe the courtyard, but probably it's really just the church, the courtyard, the you know, you should be machmer, but really, make a din. It's like the city. It's a Marzayan problem. As long as you can solve Marzayan, so it's going to be fine. Who disagrees? Who brings the Rambam back into the halacha? Hint, next verse on the page. The Shach. Who's the Shach? We've talked about the Shach before. Who is the Shach? The Shach is not the... The Shach is... Shabtai HaKohen Rappaport. He is arguably, but not really so arguable, the most important commentary on Yeridea, the most important Ashkenazi commentary on Yeridea. We almost always paskin like the Shach, at least when it's Mahog Shach and Taz, not always when it's Shach against Rama, but pretty much the t- Shach, right? 90 plus percent of the time we paskin like the Shach on Yeridea. He writes, Vasar Likanis Pesocha. Right, he quotes the Perish Mishnah as the Rambam. And therefore, the Ramah says we don't pass like the Rambam. Right? We think that the city itself is not that problematic, right? And the, therefore, the chaser might not be so problematic. But the the shach says, no, he passes like the Rambam without without comment. Is it a ish? And it says in a chanami nowadays, a ish anach nutachas yadeim ba manusim v'shochen baratzam anusim in iskayim banu machinem arvatem shamalim asayad adam eight for heaven. With the Meir Dino Kain Kavachomer, based on what Kuchava Matra, she also learned, Kamatler Oso, the Kosh again, the Kanispo. He quotes the Bershom and Shazla Rambam, the Ikra Din, you shouldn't go into a city, or Zara, you shouldn't even look at the city. What choice do we have? We're just stuck, but that still means you shouldn't go into a church, you shouldn't look at a church, you shouldn't whatever, right? So Shah brings it back into uh, in discussion. And then number six, Shul- <coughs> next him in Shulchan Aruch, adds the, the Isser. And says that in addition to what's formally usher, there's this notion that we see in Daf Zion of mitzvah lehisrachek miderech avot chavim arba amos. That in addition to staying out of the base of the earth itself, you should also stay stay arba amos away from it. Okay. So now let's summarize. Let, let's summarize what we've seen again. What? No, that was Shulchan Aruch. Right, according to Gemara. Okay. So now what do we have? So far, what have we seen? So. In terms of going into the right into a church, so uh, again the simple shot I think is like the Chachmas Adam. That why can't you? Let's use temple for a moment. That you can't go into an idolatrous temple. Why? Because of, it's pasher. It's avodah zara. You're getting benefit from avodah zara, so you can't go in. Right. The whole discussion on Daf. One second. One second. The whole discussion on Yafir Aleph. That it's only a Maris Ayan problem, or it's a problem because they're having a carnival affair, and you're, you know, you're participating in the Avodah Zarah. That's only in postures according to Rovri Shonim. Right? Though that low level Dirabanan Isser is only what? Is only for what? Referring not to the base of Avodah Zarah, but to the? To the city. Ah, yeah. The city. Right? Now, the Rambam says no. All three concentric circles are all equally usher as a base of Odazara. Right? It's all part of participating in Odazara. It's all Makam Odazara. You can't go into the city. You can't shut out the hot air. And you can't, you can't go anywhere. Right? We're forced by Manoseinu Arabim to live in non-Jewish and idolatrous cities. But according to the Ramam, everything's usher. According to everybody else, that's not the Pshat. The Pshat is that the outermost concentric circle, the city, 
That's not really a makom of a desire. That's only other because of Maris Ayin, and therefore it can be solved. If you live in the city, it can be solved. If there's a caravan, it can be solved. If there's a significant Jewish community within the city that you might be visiting, whatever. Right? Or there's not a carnival, right? It's not a fair going on if you think that's the problem. The base of Ojazara, again in Pshat, if the Chayyadam is right, should be Aser, potentially. Midaraisa. The Machok is, is, is the Chatzir. Right? Because the Chatzir might be part of the. Okay. What do you know of it? Remember, might be an extension of the base of Ojazara, in which case it would be Aser even without Marasayan. Or it could be similar to. Just part of the Near. Good. Uh, so Dark Emotion says, Misvare thinks that it's equivalent to an ear. That a chatzar is no different than the rest of the city, and therefore just a Marzayan concern. He notes that Sefer Hasidim seems to go in the direction. the same thing, but a bit differently. But maybe spiritually, the chatzila, whatever. Correct. But he notes, right, yeah, you should still be more cautious. a middle ground, right? Even if you think fundamentally, like the city, you have to be more cautious for practical concerns. However, despite the fact that the Ramah doesn't accept the Rambam's view that even the city and Kavacham and the Chatzar are Mekomo Shalva Dezara Mamish, right, the Shach does, right, okay, and in addition to all of that, there's the Chumra of the Gemara already, that in addition to not going into these places, you should be Marchik Arbamos from them, and you should stay away from them. Now, as I said, what are the Nafkaminas? So one, again, one of the big nafkaminas that comes up all the time in Psaac are using a social hall of a church for whatever. For parties or whatever. Voting, parties, whatever. Now, many postkin will tell you, well, what if, if you had to intuit, what are postkin going to tell you? Can you go into, let's take those two cases, yeah. voting, what are postkin going to tell you? Maybe yes, why? Because Mikr Din Ramah says it's mutter, and... Voting is valuable. So, and everybody knows that's why you're going in. What about a party? Good. What, what, what about a party? What do you think the post no, will tell you? The good also, why? Why? Because look, because if it's voting it's, it's day... More, it's more a personal thing. It's more... Because they're going to... Two reasons. One, they're going to say there's no tchak. There's right? no there's, reason, yeah. But there's no reason to do it, right? Yeah, voting, you no, didn't choose. Right, but there's no... Right, voting, someone else put the cho- yeah. voting booth there. You didn't choose to go right, in there. there's no problem on the RSI. Well, and, no, and, also, and, no, and he said, and, no, there is a problem. Why? Because if there's voting, right, there's going to be a big sign. Voting here today. Everybody knows that's why you're going in. Mm-hmm. You rent out the social hall in a church. You don't see the... Right? Limo out front. Not everybody's going to know. And, and how do they know you're not going into the temple? How do they know you're not going to the sanctuary? How do they know that you're only going to the social hall downstairs? They're coming in? True. Right? What was he going to say? A, there's a real Marazayan concern there. And B, what's the pressure? I understand voting. You didn't choose. Right? But this is the type of discussion you're going to find in post Because it's, not more, it's more like an serious thing. Also. It's a more social now, thing than a, than a, a must. Now, correct. Now, remember. If this analysis is correct, so then... This is right. Remember, this is what Alman argued. So why is it right? I have a question. Why is it even? Uh, why are we even answering this question? If it's logic. Well, wait. But, but I'm, I'm telling you, where does it come from now? But there's other issues they have to think. Halacha, right? What else is going to come up? So if you remember, again, we've talked about this a few times, right? Going in to. <coughs> right, the the chashev person who's karav lamalchos, right, going into the church. So right, Broid says, oh, it's going into a church is only marasayin, and therefore it's mutter, and we can waive it because of karav lamalchos, and maybe there's no marasayin because everybody knows he's going in to, to give, you know because the president asked him, right? That only works if what? Yeah, you have a big go. And and if what? Right? What's what was Right Alman's problem with it? He said, wait a second, he said, No. Right? So you're assuming, right, Broid's assuming that even the church itself is what? It's not not really a spiritual thing. That the church itself is is only also because of Shad and things like that. But if you think like the the Chachmas Adam, then no, the temple itself is a Zaik Pasha Usr. Right? It's Israel Midaraisa. So then you can't just wave it by solving Maras I and by saying Karvam Allah. It's not magic. Right, that would help you go into the courtyard. That would help you go into the city, right? But it might not help you go into the church itself. That's yeah. not the question. Let me say you have like old churches and from the middle from, from the Middle Ages and everything. It's not more in use, but it's still that building. Are you? And it has no. no so that's the question of bittol, right? That's what we said. No, that's what we said. That's what we said. That's the issue of bittol. If they were mevatlet, then you can. 
right? If there was a formal bittel, I mean, they desacralized it. They don't use it they anymore. Don't use it, but we know no, no, there has to be a bittel. There has to be a bit. No, in a but there has to be a bittel. Right? If they sold it off as a museum, right? Again, we're not getting to this again now. But let's say they sold it off as a museum. That would be prob- probably. Probably that would be bittel. But let me say it's just a building, just standing, without being a museum. Wow. Let me say it's just because it's a uh, ruins. Let me say it's right. So, you, so you're holy out, and it depends on the case. Now, what else? So, um, what what's another big thing? Now, one halachal ma'isa. In addition to everything we've just analyzed, what is one of the big things that come up in sock that determine whether you can go into a church? And we talked about it getting the year, but now let's let's do chazara quickly. Okay. What what what's one of the biggest questions you're gonna have to answer? About whether it's mutter to go into a church. But mutter? Whether it's mutter or not, right? So far we've done the sugya of the base of a Dazara, but what's the biggest question you have to ask? Mm-hmm. Tell me, what is ah, it? Um, is Christianity right? Abu Dazara? Yeah. Right? I mean, all of this assumes that. Christianity. The Christianity but is about the Zara. Rambam has a different outlook because he lived in. The, the, oh, we 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 noted that, but yeah. so therefore, like Ravadia, you say Paskins, it's also to go into a church, but it's mutter to go into a a mosque, right? Because, because he says, because he thinks that Christianity is about the Zara and Islam is not about the Zara. Now. Some of the post game, right, right, Broid brings yeah, this up is one is this Niffin Lachel. What one second, why are some people make it on churches? In addition to this sugya, right, because they say, right, if you paskin like the Rama so what did the Ramah say? That you're not allowed to go to. Anything. No, but what did the Ramah say about Christianity? No, the Ramah said it's not. Remember, the Ramah understands Tos was saying that it's not of a desire, right? But it's not so clear because the Ramah said it's not of a desire for who. For, for, other, um, for non-Jews, yeah. but it might be a vodazar for us. If it's vodazar for us, mm-hmm. it's not pasha that we could go in, mm-hmm. right? Just because it's not a vodazar for them doesn't mean that it's mutter. Now, right. there's another bit of a question. So, you know, I just saw a tshuva that was recently published by Elzer Berkovich on the topic. You don't usually see halachic arguments by him. Now, part of the question is how exactly do you define something as a base of vodazara, right? Meaning, does it need an avodazara in it, right? An idol, or even a place where you daven, mm-hmm. right? Now. Not every church has an idol in it, right? That's but if you think that base of a is any place where they worship, yeah. then it wouldn't matter. So in other words, it doesn't make a difference if you go to a so, Unitarianist church or... Ah, so the, no, church. so it might. No, it might. Because it, it could might. be that it depends yeah. on the Christianity. It could be the Unitarian is not of a right? You know, and, and Catholicism also, is. And, also, you know, Yesh Lodun. Also, uh, Orthodox. Yeah, but still, they are worshiping. Greek, Greek, Greek Orthodox. It has more icon- iconography. Yeah. Right, we can make all types of distinctions. Iconography. Iconography. That, yeah. that right. often. But, um, right, again, yeah, it, it might whole, depend. Whole, now, do you, do you remember, do you remember who, by the way, took this? Yeah. Who, by the way, took this and said it's also even yeah. to go into a mosque? Who said that even a mosque is also? Yeah. Uh, remember who thought that for these purposes a mosque was also a base of a Zara? What? Uh, the, the Ran and who passed in that way in modern times? Okay. Who? The Tzitzeliezer. Mm-hmm. Right? So again, part of this discussion is going to be... Wait, again, part of this discussion is going to be what is the nature of going into a base of a Tzara? But part of it is going to be defining... A mako, right? What is an avodazara? What's not an avodazara? So when you when you when you look at modern psak on churches, right, and going into churches, that's what you're going to see, right? You're going to see first one level is what is the nature of the makom of avodazara is, sir, right? How much do we extend it, vechule? And the second thing is going to be what do we define for these purposes as avodazara, minus vechadome, right? Again, la halacha, ravadi yosef. Is Mahmir. But only for churches, not for mosques. Sitzel Yezer is Mahmir even on mosques. Right? Um, well, yeah. In general, I mean, like, I get what you're saying, but the Chlal to go and high say in general, they're also worshipping. I mean, if you say. You Correct, that's why you ask me, the symbol shot is like the people who say, what do you mean? It's a Makam of a Dazar because they're worshipping. Who cares? It doesn't make a difference how Correct. stronger it is. Correct. Now and like I said, though you'll see in a lot of in you know a lot of discussion in the 1950s, they threw into this discussion 
right, non-orthodox shuls as well, right? The, yeah, right, for the same reasons, because you have the Marzayan concerns, and because the Rav, right, as Salvechik felt that, that, that they were Christianized services, right? Right, but again, once you realize that the issue here isn't you're not, it's not necessarily of a, it's your own religion how could you that, it, it, that makes it worse on a Mars Island level the father makes okay. it worse yeah. right but he also the Rav at least felt that even right even on the base of a desire of things that it's a Christianized service right so he thought it was uh, it was problematic yes but, but sti- I, I, I get why what he's saying but still it's I know so the, the interesting thing ah so the problem is no so the problem is okay so where does he get it from very quickly get me Gmar and Shabbos okay which the first bed what the first bed no the, the Gmar is separated by Prakka I mean Dav Kuf Tezayin I need Dav Kuf Tezayin wait That was like delayed for like five seconds. Yeah, it means he wasn't really sleeping. No, I was. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm capable of turning, turning it to Kuf Design. Thank you. Thank you. Kuf Design. Kuf, Kuf, Kuf Design. I mean, the book would have been the same one way or the other. Okay. So the, the Gemara in, uh, in Kuf Design has a discussion of, uh, of going into a base, Min. Right into these house of uh, Minim, and the Gemara says that um, in that context says that Minim are worse at a certain level than Avodazara, um, because uh, so he says like this. Amri Tarfon Akapech Banaishim Yavoli De Liadi Shani Story for some as a scar should go ahead. He says, if someone was, was, their life was in danger. Now again, this is the, one of the Makaros for what we discussed last week. Your life is in danger. You had a snake on your leg or you're being chased to be killed. If I had a choice between you going into a base of a Dazara or into a house of heresy, which would I pick? The base of a Dazara. Right over minus because minus at some level is worse. It's more dangerous, right? Why is um, it's more dangerous. Um, well, why do you think? Right, because the Vodazar is at least outside. Minos is right from within. Right, you're saying, oh, it's your own religion. But what the Gemara is telling you is that Minos might actually be worse. It's more dangerous because you know these. Persons. Yeah, I mean, Minos is within. Or it's within a corruption, or something like that. And therefore, right, when you say, oh, but it's it's Jewish, right? As as many people point out, the simple shot of the Gemara is that if it's a Jewish corruption, that's more problematic than a mamish base of a desire. So the fact that it's and that's why it's brought up in the discussion yeah, so of going to non orthodox The fact that we don't have a Yitzhar for Avodah anymore a Jewish corruption would be I, worse. for sure right meaning definitely right realistically it's a much more dangerous thing in terms of what people are nimshach for um, to understand what people are uh, are getting at okay so that's just the basic again we didn't get to the depth depth of this video but now at least when you uh, when you go through it you'll understand where people are are coming from right you'll see the majority of post game therefore really do say uh, that it's us to go into a church and the sanctuary itself the head there to go into let's say Right when they say you can go on a tour of Vatican City, but avoid the sanctuaries, what are they saying? They're saying, look, the Rama says that the chutzner make din is mutter. Right, the chutzner is basically anything which is right, which is not the sanctuary. So parts are not the sanctuary, and we don't pass on the Rama. That's the ear, and that's why you'll see. And again, local scene. Right, when on a tour of the Vatican, but as the story goes, right, we got to the. But to the he got to the Sistine Chapel itself. He didn't go in, right? Because he why? You'll tell me, oh, it's Batel, it's just historical. So he said he asked the guard, and if you look on Wikipedia, it'll tell you the same thing. No, look at the Wikipedia article. It says that on special occasions, Sistine Chapel still uses an active church. It's not Batel. It's a Mamisha church, right? Adayom, right? And therefore he said he couldn't go in. The rest of the jury went in. Again, I told you in the apocryphal story that's also online. The, the tour only goes one way. So Lechonstein couldn't get out of it. So what he did is he went to the bathroom and jumped out the window. I don't know if that's actually true. I highly doubt it. Right? But again, the reason you, that you'll see, when you see the postkim discussing it, this is the issue they're discussing. Right? One is the nature of the Yasef Zara. Two is how much is the, does it extend to the Chatzar, right? To the periphery. And the third question I'll ask is what counts as a Vodazara? 
Right? Hence the difference between mosques and churches and different types of churches and blah, blah, blah. blah. Now, one second, one second. Now, in addition to all of this, remember, the Rambam says, and this is, and right, Clapper talked about this on Thursday, if you're paying attention. In addition to all of this, there's an Isser of, there might be a separate Isser of looking at idolatrous art, or maybe art in general. Right? Because of Al-Tifnu Elo Eli Lim. The Ridva says you are not to look at art ever. Right? It's a Ridva. Right? In Shabbos. Even if you don't accept the Ridva, right? There's a lot to say that you can't look at idolatrous art. Yeah. Right? Right. So going to these places, right, a lot of people say, well, I'm not going to worship, I'm just going to see the art. You're just going to the mind. But right. Not, but, but still, admiring <coughs> your worship. But that's what I'm saying. Even if it's not worship, there's no, a separate... Admiring is a separate... No, but at my point, remember, first of all, it might be an Isra Hana, okay. right? And B, it might be an Isra Valtifnu Elilim. Right? In addition yeah. to all this, admiring idolatrous art may be also for a hundred other reasons. Right? So don't tell me, oh, it's not, I'm not going to worship, so it's automatic automatically mutter that might not be true there are other Assyrians floating around also which again right Clapper touched on on, on Thursday I don't know we're going to dwell on but I want you to at least understand the, the basic issers and the basic discussion in post game and also by the way the lambda is very neat right you see how the lambda goes right is it intrinsic is it not what applies to what but the thing is, people won't really, when people see a mom, people won't really think about that, you know, when they're going to the, to the Louvre, you know, in Paris. They're not going to think No, but, about they, but if they're going to the Sistine Chapel, they might. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, because that's to do with Kishani. But uh, in a Hanami. Like no, in a Hanami. Yeah. In a Hanami. But again, that I think is Bata, that's desacralized. But, uh, but going into the Sistine yeah, Chapel. As a Christian, uh, Fine, but, but again, that's, that gets into the complicated Sugi of Bithel, which we're not going to talk about okay. now. Okay? Good.